the time. They certainly don't seem to be stuck in a cycle of always sending money. Where's your plan? So I'd be looking for a plan which is owned by that company, not one which is just written for the plan. And sometimes I've even advocated to these to such organisations that they need to kind of have one plan for the funding work because they show them, and they need to have another which they truly own and they truly believe in. Uh, you're looking for an ability to, to drive a complex organisation with multiple priorities, which can be a challenge for strategic planning because it means multiple people, multiple functional units, long, complicated plans. But a good organisation can kind of. Uh, sew all that together in a way which makes it um, coherent and digestible. Uh, thinking beyond the current CEO's tenure is really important um, and a clear sense of purpose. That's something I look for in not for profit organisations all the time. Why are you here? What's the point? Right? Would the world cry if there was not another dance company? Or would the world cry if there was not, not another driver's seat? What is the gap they feel? Why, did, is, why is the thing they do unique and why is that worthy of support, financial and otherwise? Uh, staff planning and development. And so we miss a change management. Well, I said that, but I was just going to ask something about the previous slide. Yeah. Are you going to make me try and work out how to get to the previous slide? Oh, no, I'll put it in one and you just said don't do it very often in this topic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Accounts done 
you'll get an accountant. Or if you want your contracts done, you'll get a lawyer. But if you want to do probably the most important thing for a company, which is start with your people, you'll have a go yourself. You know, you'll sit on the interview phone, you'll put out the job back, you'll see, you'll sort through resumes, even though you have no background in that and no idea what to do with it. And it's the most important thing in many ways, the most important thing that's come from the So that's why I say that they don't do it very well. It's a big hit and miss, you know. It's not uncommon to go and see a company in the creative industries and members that say, oh, well, we tried that designer and he was here for a while and that didn't work out. And then we had somebody else and she was terrible. Oh my God, we couldn't wait to get rid of her. You know, this kind of just poor HR choices is something that you see quite a lot. So, in a company which is doing it well, you're looking for an ability to source the right people. You're looking for a commitment to the individual growth of those people within a company. Particularly, if you're thinking of them in succession planning, you're thinking that if the owner is thinking of <coughs> those people as potential investors in the company in the future. Again, you're looking for a good organizational culture, and you're looking around smart thinking around roles and structure. It is not uncommon to walk into a, a, a design company, a, a graphic design company, and all the desks are filled with designers, and you sit down with the company head, and they go, I just don't know why we can't bring in a dog. So have you employed any salespeople? And they know, but we're a room full of designers, you know. So knowing what the roles are to make that business work and, and structuring that staffing appropriately and in a way that works is something I'd be looking for in that kind of stuff. For not for profits, again, you're looking for all these things as well, but if you're looking for, I'd suggest for managing up and down. So if you're the GM, general manager, or the CEO of one of those organizations, you've got to manage the board, so you've got to manage people who are effectively uh, your bosses, who some of them are your appointments, so on and so forth. You've got to manage everyone underneath you as well. And it's a much more collaborative environment than it was before, probably. I'd be really looking for strict performance measures, something which is really lax in creative industries companies, particularly in the arts. Right? So, it's not uncommon to walk into one of those companies and find really problematic HR issues which nobody has dealt with for a long time because we all hate conflict and we don't want to tell people that sometimes they just have to do their jobs. You know? So, 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 so you're more likely to find performance measurement over here for a for-profit company than you are in a not-for-profit company. So that's what I'd be looking for. Um, I think you're also looking for a diversity of people and experience. When I walk into when I walk into a web design firm and they're all uh, funky blonde eyed hipsters who are in their twenties, that's so far. When I walk into an arts organisation and they're all women aged thirty five to sixty, I start to worry. Not because I worry particularly about funky blonde hipsters or women in that age group. I worry about the lack of um, diversity within those groups. If I don't see a diversity, how can